Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your end of May, May 15th to the 31st uh, tarot readings. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Aries. If you guys would like a quickie reading with Instago, you have an Apple iPhone, you can go there. It's 10 bucks and I will respond to you within 24 hours or this then you just get a, a picture of the cards I pull and you know I, I give you a quick answer it's not long if you want something longer um, we have the the $50 readings which are 20 minutes and you wouldn't believe what can get covered in a 20 minute reading we also have the 24 hour reading um, that's three questions but the information's below this is for the sign of Aries for the end of May all right so there's some action being taken Aries somebody is is just like being impulsive, okay? They're, they're not even thinking. They're just moving forward, heading someplace very, very quickly. Either somebody is coming after you very quickly or you're moving very quickly. And you may be feeling like, you know, this is just, this isn't love. This is lust. And generally my readings are love readings. Somebody could be charging forward, whether it's you or the other person, that is all about, you know, well desires put it that way you're dealing with somebody who is is uh you know take a look at the cards here take a look at these cards they really say a lot that you're dealing with somebody who's all talk and they could be only after one thing okay maybe two things could be money and sex okay could be just sex but it's not love with the knight of cups reversed and all the other cards whoever you are involved with is not um, offering you the true romance that you seek. They're exciting, yeah. And there, there's a lot of passion and a strong uh, chemical attraction. You know, there's a magnetic attraction. Very, um, whew, you know, fiery, passionate attraction between you and another person. And they may be moving just a little bit, or somebody, either it's you or them, they're moving. They want to get, get in, like, right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay? They want to get theirs right now. And once they get what they want, they might get the hell out because they are so, so, so full of talk. Okay? They're a big, big talker. It's like they don't even, they don't even think before they talk. They have one thing on the mind and one thing only. So beware. These, the, I mean, the cup these five cards and it's funny I laid them all out right out together because it's one story if you've been watching me for a while I don't do that I usually do one at a time to and I talk about those cards these ones they all came out together and then I stopped because it's a it's a it's a it's a serious message here you are dealing with somebody that is looking for one thing and one thing only and it's not love bottom line hold up whether it's you that could be you it could be you you know, and I'm not judging anybody. It could be you or it could be somebody else, okay? Whatever it is, there's addictions, there's lust, there's greed, there's manipulation, there's control, obsessions, and sexual desires, okay? And I feel as though, you know, somebody wants a relationship here. Somebody's looking for something stable and secure. They're looking for that stable and secure relationship. And you may be feeling like this is a dream come true. And somebody that's a big talker can sell you the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay? And tell you that this is your wish, this is your dream come true. So just keep that in mind. All right? So, yeah. All right? Whoever, and this is probably you. You know, whoever it is thinks that you're vulnerable. They think that you're vulnerable. They think that you're weak. They think that they can pull the wool over your eyes. So just, just, they th see you as being stable and secure. All right? That's what they see. They see that, you know, you don't have the courage and the confidence and the strength to see their approach, to see what's going on. Beware, 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 okay? beware I feel as though you are looking for a solid stable relationship 
somebody is in this dynamic is if it's not you it's the other person somebody is looking for a solid stable relationship but they need to slow down you need to halt and if you are dealing with another person who is rushing in and they're hurrying and they're trying to you know get in your pants so fast whatever i'm just telling you okay this is saying you need to really slow down slow down okay because if they want a real relationship with you something solid and stable they will be able to be open to your approach do you know what i mean whoever you're dealing with isn't thinking about you they're only thinking about themselves that's what i see this is for the sign of aries somebody isn't even thinking before they act they aren't they're not and you're you or the one one person is being impulsive they're not thinking they're following their you know genitals or whatever you want to call it and the other person in this dynamic is has a lot of hope okay they feel like this is a dream come true they're totally having the wool pulled right over their eyes that's exactly what i see What else does Aries need to know at the end of this month? You are dealing with somebody who is, you know, you could be receiving some information about this person that you don't want to hear, okay? You could be. I feel like this person is moving so fast that you're missing some things. You're not, you're not getting the whole story. They're, they're wanting in and they're not thinking about the uh, logistics of how they get in. They just want in. They want in, okay? So... I feel as though you need to slow them down. Okay, need, there's no rush here. If you want a solid, stable relationship, we don't have to hurry. And if they and if they refuse, then you have your answer. Okay, there's lust. There's absolutely some lust here, which does not involve love with the Knight of Cups reversed. You know, you're be dealing with, and this is this is this could be you. You know, maybe it is, and I'm not saying you know, i'm not judging anybody but somebody is manipulating and controlling and bringing chaos into this situation they've lost their concentration they've lost their focus and they are really it's almost like so angry with the world that they don't care who they hurt along the way there's anger there is because somebody isn't caring about the other person. They're only thinking about the stuff that the devil brings in, which is, is greed and lust. Okay, money, addictions, lust, spending, materialism. This person, it's not love. It's not love. You're dealing with somebody who is using for other reasons, I'm sorry to say. You know, I feel like, yeah, it's exciting. It's passionate, right? It is. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of passion. But there's a lot of lies as well. There's a lot of lies and there's conflicts and there's tension. And this is a fight that you don't need to fight. You don't need to be a part of it. The best thing to do is walk away and, and walk, seriously, the best thing is to do is to walk away because you are being lied to. You are being dominated by somebody else. You're not in control. They are. You're not in control, Aries. Somebody else has got complete control over you. And it's control of, because of this devil energy. Okay, this could be ego. You know, this is so exciting. You know, it feeds the ego. So you may not be able to see past the manipulation. That's ego talking. When you let yourself and you become vulnerable, that's your ego saying, oh, this feels so good, even though you know it's not true. Somebody needs to let this go and walk away from this so seriously see these people are walking away they need to walk away this guy has won and he knows he has won and this one's turning his back they're out of here 
This guy thinks he's pretty cunning. Ha ha. Look at me. I won. I got what I wanted. And you've been easily distracted by this person because they're so desirable. That's what the devil energy brings in. That's ego. Doesn't lead to anything stable and secure, Aries. It doesn't. There's no stability and security here. And all it does is lead to family feuds. Feuds in your life that you really don't need. It will zap your energy even further. You are being lied to about something. You are. You are being taken advantage of and manipulated. It may cause you to get angry when you figure this out for real. You may be like, oh my God, I cannot believe that I just let this happen. I let this master manipulator come in here, take my money, woo me, use me for probably more than just money, and, and they didn't even love me. Where's the love here? You had great intentions for a happy relationship. The other person did not. Or does not. And there's potential for somebody to be taken advantage of very, very quickly. And there's no doubt about that. You could be receiving an invitation that is too good to be true. It's exciting and it could certainly lead you down the devil's road. This is the invitation. It's lies. This is lies reversed. There's an invitation that you could, you know, you could be invited to something or you are involved in something that is completely manipulative doesn't lead to anything good the devil doesn't lead to anything good the devil energies it doesn't it's all lies it's ego greed lust money materialism manipulation control that's what it leads to and it feels like you're dealing with somebody who is very very cunning and you will probably end up walking away from this situation after you lose some of your, you know, money from it. But anyway, so I think at the end of May, if this is about coming to grips with whoever, you might get angry. Okay, you might get angry because you figure out that you've been taken advantage of and there wasn't any love. There's was There was great sex, perhaps. But that's about it. What does Aries need to know? Now, this could always go vice versa, okay? So this is you or the other person. Somebody is, is not doing things for the right reasons. They have a, an agenda here, and it isn't love. Wait. Honor your resistance. Sometimes no action is the best action of all. And that makes complete sense. Remember I said slow down right up here. This is what needs to happen. Put a halt to it and see what happens. If you put a halt to this person and they don't stick around, you know it wasn't love. And if you're scared to do that, you know it isn't love. If you know that this person loves you and that they're a keeper, you can ask them to slow down and you know they will stay. If you are afraid to ask somebody to slow down, if you are afraid to ask somebody anything, then you have a problem. So Aries, this is what I have for the end of May. It's about coming to grips with somebody using you. And I'm sorry, this will not resonate with everybody, but that's what I see. And it might cause you to get angry and upset and you might decide to walk away and cut them right out of your life done I am done with you don't come back I'm never gonna I'm never gonna look at you again that kind of energy 
So anyway, that's what I have. Talk to you later.